Okay, we've had this meat stick for a little while. We've done two cooks with it, and we're gonna give a review. Now here we're setting it up for the brisket we cooked here a while back. Very simple to set up. All you gotta do is follow the instructions on the screen and you'll have no problems whatsoever. Now the screen will give you choices, smoker, oven, deep fry, grill, and more. And then it'll take you to the type meats you're cooking. Whether it's beef, pork, fish, lamb, it doesn't matter. It has presets and you can adjust them. Once you choose your setting, hit next and it creates the cook. And then you insert the meat probe and you want to fully insert the meat probe into the meat, leaving no metal showing except the black with the metal tip there. That's your ambient temperature. This has two sensors in it. Now, as I said, this has two temperature sensors in it. One is ambient temperature and the other is the internal temperature. The internal temperature can go to a maximum temperature of 212 degrees. The ambient temperature, 572 degrees. And beware, going over these temperatures can void your warranty. Now for me, it's perfect. I don't see going over either of these temperatures on these sensors for anything. That I would be cooking anyways. And here I'm smoking a brisket for slice brisket. That shows the internal temperature of 73, the target is 198, and the target ambient is 225. So if I go over 225, it's going to give me a warning on the ambient temperature. Now the internal temperature is going to give me an alert at 193, and it's showing a target for 198. We will pull the brisket off and the temperature will continue to climb. The readings are perfect. There could be one to two degrees difference in these. For me, the meat stick is spot on. Now this brisket and country style pork ribs turned out perfect. Now just a bit of warning. As you can see, the meat stick is sticking through the tin foil into the meat, leaving the black part with the ambient sensor on the outside. This is the way you use it. Now the first time I used the meat stick, I was cooking a or smoking a pork butt and I had the meat stick inserted. And when it come time to wrap the meat, I just wrapped the meat, the meat stick all together. Well, the meat stick does not like it when it's enclosed in tin foil. It causes interference, so that will give you some trouble. I reached out to the meat stick company. They said, yes, tin foil will cause interference and to just stick it through the tin foil into the meat and it should work fine. So I've done it this way and hadn't had any more problems. I want you to look at that brisket. That came out perfect. Look at that smoke ring. Now without an extender, you must be within six feet of the meat stick or you'll lose connection. With the extender, you can go up to 260 feet. Now this pork butt is where I made my mistake when I wrapped the meat stick and the pork butt together. So here I am wrapping it up, thinking this is gonna be just right, just perfect for this. I was wrong. So this is something you do not want to do. Do not wrap the meat stick while it's still in the meat with tin foil. Pull the meat stick out, wrap the meat, and then put in the meat stick. And you can see on the app where it said I lost connection and everything, and I tried for the longest to get it to come back. Moving the extender to the front, getting it as close as I can, still nothing until I unwrapped the end with the meat stick in it. Then it made contact again. I pulled it back over and it cooked the rest of the way, but I will never enclose the meat stick again in tin foil because if this is what happens, you can't trust enclosing it and losing contact. 
and contact was made again and we finished the cook. So needless to say, I don't wrap the meat stick with the meat in tinfoil anymore. But I tell you what, that pork butt came out good and that made good pulled pork. This was really good. Came out perfect. And I would highly recommend the meat stick. This is a must have. No wires whatsoever. And it will last up to 24 hours plus on a full charge. Can't beat that. If you enjoyed the video and found the information useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing.